have black women who don't feel visible at these marches, for dark-skinned black women whose voices go unheard, and dark-skinned black girls who are told their outspokenness is not communicating the right way and are punished for that. I'm here for black trans men and trans women who don't know if they will live to see another day. And Black Women for Wellness is a 24-year-old organization committed to the health and well-being of black women and girls. As Black Women for Wellness is grounded in the reproductive justice framework, which contains the following core values. The human right to maintain personal bodily autonomy, the right to have a child or not to have a child, and the right to a parent, a child, or children in safe and healthy environments. Uh, if I'm from Texas, <laughs> um, I understand like what it's like growing up in Texas and not having the accessibility as a youth and as a young woman. And Texas Senate Bill 8 is in direct opposition to these values. The state's most recent aberrant abortion ban reinforces the racist and classist ramifications of our current reproductive health systems. Black Women for Wellness is angry and frustrated by the continual attacks on reproductive rights. Black Women for Wellness is sick and tired of the criminalization of black women and birthing people in our communities. We are saddened by the judicial system's refusal to intervene and defend the rights of women and birthing people. Black Women for Wellness remains committed to the values of reproductive justice. Black Women for Wellness stands steadfast with informing and educating women and girls on our basic human rights and will continue to work toward a society that values black women and girls, that respects and offers basic health care, which includes abortion to everyone who needs this service. And to Texas, Texas women like myself and birthing people, especially the black women of Texas, we see you, we hear you, we stand with you, and we want you to know that Black Women for Wellness is devastated and disgusted by SB8. We have witnessed far too many human rights violations over the years against those within our community, particularly people living with multiple minoritized identities, such as being currently or formerly incarcerated, disabled, LGBTQ+, low income, sexual assault survivors, and so on. And our organization also urges the state of Texas to reshift its efforts toward implementing equitable, holistic solutions that address the needs of those who are impacted by COVID-19 and environmental emergencies such as Hurricane Ida, and addressing institutional harms against its black and brown communities. Thank you so much for your time.